Seminole County recognizes one of its many talented students. She's the only elementary school student who earned perfect scores on all three FCAT tests. Watch 2's Gail Pasco Brown sat down and talked with this 11 year old today. Gail has more on her amazing accomplishment. Indeed, this past school year was the first year Jasalis Ramirez attended Keith Elementary School in Winter Springs. She's a gifted student who enjoys chorus and the violin. Now, out of thousands of Seminole County Elementary School students, she was the only one to receive perfect FCAT scores. When I didn't know I was going to get a perfect score, and but I thought I would get around a five, and but I just tried my very hardest and. It came out great. Great is an understatement for this Keith Elementary School student. 11 year old Jazzalise Ramirez of Winter Springs earned a perfect score on FCAT math, reading, and writing. I'm so proud of her, and I, I'm very grateful with the school. And we saw that she got a 6.0 paper, perfect score paper. Um, we were amazed by that. And then once we saw that there was only two in the whole county, we were amazed. Jazzalise, how did you do it? Um, well, I just paid attention in class and made sure I studied. She says her teachers are awesome with monthly prompts and practices in reading, writing, and math. They were also encouraging. Whenever you were thinking, I can't do it, this is so hard, they would just say, um, we're very proud of you guys. We know you can do it. Um, we've practiced throughout the year. You guys will be fine. I know you can do it. It's not uncommon for students to earn a perfect score on one portion of the FCAT, but it's rare to see perfect marks on all portions. Plus, out of more than 27,000 Seminole County Elementary School students, Jazz Elise is the only one to receive perfect scores on all three tests this past school year. I understand that it's a very big deal, and it doesn't just come around every day. And I'm very proud of myself, and I'm very thankful for my school, my teachers, my friends. They are very supportive. So sweet. Now, the FCAT in reading, writing, and math as we know it retired. Next year is the Florida Standards Assessment, which is meant to be a more comprehensive exam. Jazzy Lee says, well, if it's going to be tougher, she's just going to have to work harder.